feel it more and more where there's the new generations that are coming up are better with technology than I am. They're more into their phones than I am. They're better at Twitter than I am. I think Nick is enough of a dish rag. I could see him falling again. I'll keep going back. He'll keep going back to the well. <laughs> This movie wasn't exactly what I expected because a lot of the internet clips and all of that based on this ad were kind of mean. They were kind of making fun of it. And this movie's really sentimental in a way. Yeah, I think this movie's got a lot of laughs but also a lot of heart. Yeah. Was that something that attracted you to the script when you first saw it? Yeah, I think, I mean, what I really liked about the script, you know, I read it, you know, you just read your own character and you see if you want to play him. And what I really liked about Jeff is, you know, although the movie is very sweet, I don't think Jeff is very sweet. He's not. <laughs> and <laughs> I like that about him. Um, and so I was excited to play him and kind of see, you know, I was excited for that storyline. And then I knew Aubrey was doing it. And I've been a fan of hers for a while. And I was excited to work with the director. And it all worked out. Well, speaking of your character, he's kind of definitely freaked out by the idea of getting older. That's right. A little bit stuck in the past. So could you, I mean, was there anything you could find to relate to on any level with him? Well, absolutely. <laughs> you know, I mean, we all are. I mean, let's be honest right? with ourselves. You know, we're getting older. And when you get older, you're getting closer to your death. It's true, you know? yeah. And uh, no, I, I feel it a lot, and I feel it more and more, where there's the new generations that are coming up are better with technology than I am. They're more into their phones than I am. They're better at Twitter than I am. They can all edit their own movies on their phones. Right. And I did come from a school of acting before YouTube. You know, when I was performing on stages in New York with, you know, the group I was in, the Midwesterners, we didn't make videos that we went on YouTube. We had flyers that we handed out in Times Square and sure. tried to get 20 people there so we couldn't, we didn't have to pay the theater. And so, yeah, I, I know getting older because I watch these new guys coming up and coming up and the 18-year-olds are just... Right. It's a whole different game for them. It's a whole different world. <laughs> Now tell me a little bit about working with Mark, too. He's so great in this movie. Yeah, Mark's great. I think Mark is an extremely talented writer, actor, director, producer, everything. Yeah. And so working with him was great because I got to pick his brain a little bit. He's very mm -hmm. smart. Any sort of insights specifically that you got from him? I think I just really like the way he sees the making of movies. Mm -hmm. I think he's a very he produced this movie. So while we were shooting, he was also producing and the way he kind of thinks outside of the box at times was really, you know, refreshing to hear. Yeah. Now, I got to tell you that New Girl is the most quoted show around our office, oh, nice. like hands down. Cool. So I'm wondering if there was a moment or a scene from this last season that was actually the funniest or the most fun for you guys as a cast to shoot. Um, well, I think it's probably all different for all of us because we don't do too many where it's all five of us right. together. I know probably the most fun I had shooting was the three-way with Zoe. And uh, the landlord. That was a lot of fun to shoot that one. Really sexy. <laughs> That's not how I would describe it, but thank you. That, yeah, that was perfectly awkward. It was great. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> but there's a lot, you know, like, you know, Max and I had a really fun time when we did the real app stuff and mm -hmm. we were pitching to Russell. That, And then there was a scene he and I did in the bed that we had a lot of fun with. Um, Lamorne and I have had a lot of really fun stuff on the roof where L Lamorne's character, character and I, we get to fight a little bit right. and then make up, and that's always fun. And Hannah, who plays Cece, obviously, she and I have had zero scenes together. Exactly. I know. Hopefully that change ne changes next yeah, season. Yeah, well, I think it's kind of, we're on opposite sides of the cast. Mm -hmm. So, you know. <laughs> meet in the middle. We meet in the middle sometimes. <laughs> but I, I would like to see what happens with uh, Cece and Nick and if they have any kind of friendship. Absolutely. Do you think we've seen the last of Caroline at this point? No. No? She'll be back? I think Nick, I think Nick is enough of a dish rag that I could see him falling again. He'll keep going back. He'll keep going back to the well. <laughs> now, last question. I heard that you actually just sold a show to Fox with a writing partner. I did. That was We, we sold that one before, but that mm -hmm. same writing partner and I just sold a movie to uh, Warner Brothers. Oh, very cool. What that, can you tell me about that? It's uh, a guy named Rodney Rothman, the very talented writer-producer, is going to be writing it. Uh, it's based off an original idea Max Winkler and I had. He directed a movie called Ceremony. Right. Uh, and he's, he's attached to direct, and Steve Carell is attached to be in it, and I'm attached to be in it. And so it's about a bunch of guys who start their own mafia, and that mafia works. Amazing. <laughs> so go, with Steve Carell with Steve and you. Carell. Okay, I can picture and we it. And <laughs> like, we get a nice, if it happens, we get a nice fun cast. <laughs>